In the autumn of 1847, as the final embers of the Mexican-American War glowed fiercely, the battlefields of Mexico witnessed the closing acts of an extraordinary conflict. The United States, young and bold, had in a few short years propelled itself onto the global stage, seizing territory, pride and ambition with equal measure. Yet, amidst the grandeur of conquest, there were moments of desperate raw courage, individual resolve and sacrifice, none more poignant than the Battle of Huamantla and the tragic death of Captain Samuel Hamilton Walker. Welcome to the shadows and the past, where history meets mystery and the past is your present. Hit the like and subscribe to join us as we delve into a world where the boundaries between survival and demise are as unpredictable as the winds that whip across the desolate landscapes of Mexico's magnificent Sierra Madres. At the time of this confrontation, the American forces under General Winfield Scott had already captured Mexico City, marking the symbolic end of Mexico's official resistance. Yet, as is often the case with such engagements, the official signing of treaties and the laying down of arms were delayed by the actions of a handful of guerrilla forces and determined leaders who refused to yield. In this twilight phase of the war, General Antonio Lopez de Santa Anna, the figure who had, at various moments, both inspired and disappointed the Mexican people, clung to hope with the tenacity of a man determined to make one final stand. As fate would have it, General Joseph Lane, an American commander, had been charged with the unenviable task of securing the roads to Mexico City and ensuring that supply lines, then perilously under attack, remained open. His mission, straightforward in its instruction, would nonetheless prove perilous. Mexico's vast, rugged terrain remained treacherous, not only because of the natural landscape, but because it harbored remnants of a defeated army still determined to harass their conquerors. Among the men under Lane's command was the formidable Captain Samuel H. Walker. Few men in the annals of American history have their names so inextricably tied to a single invention as Walker, whose collaboration with Samuel Colt produced the Walker Colt revolver, a weapon that would become the symbol of the Texas Rangers. The Walker Colt was more than just a firearm. It was an embodiment of the wild frontier spirit, reliable, powerful, and rugged, just like the men who carried it. Walker himself had become something of a legend. Born in Maryland in 1817, he was a man who exemplified the restless energy of the expanding American frontier. He fought with distinction in the Texas Revolution and played a key role in the Battle of San Jacinto, which secured Texas's independence. Walker's reputation only grew during the tumultuous years that followed. Serving as both a soldier and a lawman, it was men like Walker, hard, relentless and unwavering, that defined the spirit of the Texas Rangers. But in the shadow of Huamantla, Walker's story would meet its end, though not before one final, unforgettable chapter was written. On October 9, 1847, Lane's expedition moved toward Puebla, where a beleaguered American garrison was besieged. Along the way, his forces passed the town of Huamantla, a strategic waypoint where Santa Ana's army had gathered to launch yet another defiant stand. Lane, ever the tactician, knew he had to strike fast and decisively. The Texas Rangers, under Walker's command, were ordered to spearhead the assault on the town. It was to be a rapid, overwhelming charge, the kind of bold, ferocious action for which the Rangers had become famous. As Walker led his men forward, the dust kicked up by their horses mixed with the acrid scent of gunpowder. The town's narrow streets, once peaceful, became a corridor of death as both sides clashed. Yet amid the thunder of hooves and the sharp crack of rifles, fate dealt its cruelest blow. Walker, ever at the forefront, charged headlong into the fray, his Colt revolver in hand. The Mexican artillery, well positioned and expertly deployed, opened fire. As he had done countless times before, Walker rallied his men, pushing them forward, urging them to hold fast. But in the thick of battle, a Mexican round found its mark. 
striking Walker and ending the life of one of the Texas Rangers' most legendary figures. There are moments in war that transcend mere tactical importance, moments that imprint themselves on the collective consciousness of those who fight and the generations that follow. Walker's death was such a moment. Though the Rangers would ultimately secure victory at Huamantla, routing Santa Ana's forces and reopening the path to Puebla, it was a victory marred by the loss of one of their most respected leaders. The symbolism of Walker's fall was not lost on his comrades. He had been more than a captain. He was a living embodiment of the Rangers' indomitable spirit. A man who had never backed down, never surrendered, and never wavered in his duty. For the Texas Rangers, the death of Samuel Walker marked the end of an era. They had entered the Mexican-American War as legends in their own right, their reputation for both valor and ferocity preceding them. Tales of their exploits had spread far and wide, from their lightning-quick charges to their fearless resolve in the face of overwhelming odds. The Rangers, armed with the very weapons Walker had helped to design, fought with a discipline and courage that bordered on the fanatical. They were not simply soldiers, they were frontiersmen, men who had lived their entire lives on the edge of civilization, where survival depended on the strength of one's will as much as the sharpness of one's blade. And yet, it was in the aftermath of Walker's death that the Rangers would once again prove their mettle. Though stunned by the loss of their leader, they did not falter. The Battle of Huamantla continued in earnest, with Lane directing the forces to press the attack. The Mexican resistance, though fierce, eventually crumbled as Santa Ana's troops, outnumbered and outgunned, retreated into the hills. The victory was complete, but its cost weighed heavily on the Rangers. Walker's death was not just a loss for his men. It reverberated throughout the ranks of the American army. The man who had led from the front, who had embodied the very essence of what it meant to be a Texas Ranger, had fallen. Yet in his death, Walker secured his place in the pantheon of American military heroes. His legacy would not be defined by how he died, but by how he lived, relentlessly, courageously, and with a fire that burned brighter than most. The Battle of Huamantla, though a relatively small engagement in the grand scope of the Mexican-American War, holds a special place in the history of the Texas Rangers. It was a battle that showcased the daring and determination of men like Samuel Walker, who, despite the overwhelming odds, charged forward without hesitation. It was a testament to the kind of individual bravery that defined the Texas Rangers, a group of men who, time and again, proved that they could stand up to any foe, no matter how formidable. As the war drew to a close with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848, America's victory over Mexico was secured. The United States gained vast new territories and the map of North America was forever changed. But for the men who fought at Huamantla, particularly the Texas Rangers, the memories of that day, the dust, the blood, the roar of cannons, would linger long after the treaties were signed. In the years that followed, Samuel Walker's name would continue to inspire those who took up arms in defense of the Texas frontier. His legacy, immortalized in the weapon that bore his name, would serve as a reminder of the courage, grit, and unyielding spirit that defined the men of the Texas Rangers. Though Walker may have fallen in the shadow of Huamantla, his spirit remains ever-present, a guiding force for those who, like him, understand that victory often requires sacrifice and that the price of freedom is paid not in gold but in blood ah well such is life in the shadows if you'd like to uncover more stories of bravery determination and sacrifice hit the like and subscribe to join us as we delve into the untold tales lurking in the shadows of history and if you're intrigued by the legend of the texas rangers Click the link to explore another thrilling chapter from America's past. Welcome to the shadows and the past, where history meets mystery and the past is your present.